हेलो टू ऑल न्यू स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक फार्मोकानेटिक चेंजेस इन रीनल एम्पायरमेंट वॉट काइंड ऑफ फार्मोकानेटिक चेंजेस विल टेक प्लेस इन द पेशेंट्स विद रीनल एम्पायरमेंट सो द किडनीज दीज आर द मेन ऑर्गन बाय विच ड्रग्स एंड देर मेटाबोलाइट्स आर एलिमिनेटेड आउट फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी दिस थिंग वी नो रीनल एक्सक्रीशन इज द मेजर रूट ऑफ ड्रग एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ आवर बॉडी and when the kidneys are not working well means in renal impairment the dosing regimen of many drugs needs to be adjusted because there are chances of drug accumulation and thereby drug toxicity so we need to adjust the uh, doses of a drug next what happens when we do not take care of dosage adjustment in patients with renal impairment what kind of scenario we can take uh, we can see is failure to excrete drugs or its metabolite may produce toxicity sensitivity to some drugs is increased even if elimination is impaired and lastly many side effects are poorly tolerated by patients with renal impairment so these are the three manifestation that we can see when we give a normal usual dose of a drug to a patient with renal impairment whose kidneys are not working properly next we'll check out principles of dose adjustment in renal impairment it depends on metabolism of drugs that is whether the drug is eliminated entirely by renal excretion or it is totally metabolized by liver or how toxic the drug itself is okay so we know most of the drug are eliminated via renal route if the drug is already water soluble drug then 100% elimination will be via the renal route and when the kidneys are not working properly the drugs will get accumulated in our body leading to toxicity and if already a drug is toxic then the scenario will be still worsening apart from this if the drug is totally metabolized by the liver means some amount of drug are eliminated via the renal route or there are chances that the drug may be eliminated via non renal route so when the drugs are eliminated via non renal route then that that won't be a problem but when the drug is eliminated via renal route either 100% or 70% or 40% if they are eliminated via the renal route and when the kidneys are not working properly means there are chances of drug accumulation in our body leading to toxicity of such drugs next for drugs with minor or no dose related side effects means these are the drugs that are having a very wide therapeutic range so in this case very precise modification of the dose regimen is not necessary a simple dose reduction is sufficient because a little alteration in the dose may not produce side effects okay next for the drugs with small safety margins means these are the drugs that are having very narrow therapeutic range in this case dosage regimen should be based on the glomerular filtration rate for those drugs recommended regimens should be used only as initial treatment guide and subsequent treatment must be adjusted according to clinical response and plasma concentration next renal insufficiency and nephrotoxic drugs nephrotoxic drugs should be if possible be avoided in patients with renal disease because consequences of nephrotoxicity are likely to be more serious when the renal reserve is already reduced it is said that all the organs of our body are interconnected if a person ha- has got kidney failure kidney impairment there are chances that the liver may also get damaged so better to avoid nephrotoxic drugs in patients with renal impairment next we have got few grades of renal impairment we say that renal impairment is mild when the glomerular filtration rate is are nearly in the range of 20 to 50 ml per minute and serum creatinine is approximately 150 to 300 micromole per liter renal impairment might be moderate when the gfr is 10 to 20 ml per minute and the creatinine uh, serum creatinine is approximately 300 to 700 micromole per liter 
and the renal impairment is severe when the GFR is less than 10 ml per minute and serum creatinine is found to be more than 700 micromole per liter. You know, we use serum creatinine. Creatinine level are been uh, checked to see the GFR, to measure the GFR and accordingly we can give dosing to the uh, patient. Next, we'll check out the pharmacokinetic changes in renal impairment. We'll check out all the uh, four pharmacokinetic parameters that is absorption, distribution, metabolism and elimination of the drug. First of all, drug absorption in renal impairment. So, suppose this is your gastrointestinal tract. This one is your systemic circulation. This is the liver and these are the drugs which is present in your gastrointestinal tract. So, first of all, we shall check out absorption of drug. So, what happens to the absorption of drug in renal impairment? Decrease in drug absorption is been seen. Next, next is the first pass metabolism. So, the drug will be moving inside the kidney where metabolism of the drug will be taking place. Means, first pass metabolism of the drug will be taking place. But here, in case of renal impairment, the first pass metabolism is altered. Okay, so only few drugs are being metabolized and most of the drugs are in active form. So what will happen? There will be increased amount of active drug in systemic circulation, thereby increased bioavailability and thereby increased chance of drug toxicity. So basically what is the role of a liver? The main role of liver is to metabolize the drug to convert lipid soluble drug into water soluble drug so that they can get easily eliminated out via the renal road or you can say the role of liver is to convert active drug into inactive drug and then pass these inactive drug into the systemic circulation but failure of liver to do so will cause large amount of active drug to move into the systemic circulation that will increase the bioavailability of the drug thereby leading to increased chances of drug toxicities. So this is about the drug absorption in renal impairment. Next we will check out the drug distribution in renal impairment. So we know the main function of kidneys is urine formation and in renal failure the urine formation is greatly reduced. So we can say fluid get accumulated inside our body thereby causing water soluble drug or their metabolite that primarily get excrete out via renal route may also get accumulated in our body. So basically what it employs is that urine outflow is reduced means the whatever fluid is there that is supposed to get eliminated out in the form of urine those entire fluid will get accumulated in our body so similarly the drugs that are supposed to eliminate out via the uh, uh, the urine through the urine they will also get el uh, accumulated inside our body okay so fluid accumulation is known as uh, it is known as edema okay so edema formation will take place okay so we can say whatever water soluble drugs are there in body they are supposed to eliminate out of our body via the renal route through the urine but since kidneys are not functioning well the glomerular filtration rate is reduced urine outcome is reduced drug clearance is also been reduced okay so as fluid accumulates similarly drug and their metabolite also get accumulated inside our body when drug accumulation occurs, we can say that the VD, the volume of distribution of highly water soluble drugs has been increased. Okay, increased VD means, increased volume of distribution means the drug gets distributed to various tissue compartment. Okay, not in the central compartment. Central compartment means the blood, the plasma. The drugs are not present in the plasma the drug are been distributed to various tissue compartments various organ compartments you can say okay there is increased uh, volume of distribution of highly water soluble drugs thereby when usual doses of drug is given to such patients low plasma level of drug is been seen thereby therapeutic failure this is happening so what, why there is therapeutic failure means there is increased volume of distribution. The drug is distributed to various other parts of our body uh, 
and when they are distributed to various other parts of our body means the Uh, the various organs of our body will utilize that drug they will metabolize the drug they will convert the drug from active to inactive form or they will metabolize that drug when the drug is getting metabolized means active form of the drug the concentration of active drug will be reduced in the plasma thereby causing therapeutic failure similarly if we do dehydration means the patient is suffering from edema so we will give some dehydrating drug so when dehydration happens then what will happen there will be reduced volume of distribution reduced volume of distribution means now the active form of the drug is mainly present in the plasma okay they are not distributed to various other parts of our body reduced volume of distribution means the drug is present only in plasma okay next usual doses can result in unexpectedly high plasma concentration toxicity may take place okay so whenever the uh, the drug is having any drug when it is having a low volume of distribution means we should provide a low dose of the drug because most of the drug is present in plasma but when a drug is having a high volume of distribution as you can see in this case whenever a drug is having a high volume of distribution means we need to give higher dose of the drug because most of the part of the body are utilizing that drug so this is all about the drug distribution in renal impairment next we'll check out drug metabolism in renal impairment slow rate of phase 1 metabolism as well as some phase 2 metabolism pathways are been seen and even the drug is metabolized in the liver depends on the kidneys for their removal from our body for example morphine which is an active metabolite which is mainly excreted uh, via the urine in patients with renal impairment morphine metabolism are more slowly as well as excreted is impaired this causes increased active metabolite to present inside our body and when this active metabolite or increased amount of active metabolite is present it will cause increased drug toxicity okay so this is the problem happening in the metabolism phase lastly checking out the drug excretion in renal impairment renal handling of drugs mainly depends upon the glomerular filtration tubular reabsorption and tubular secretion and all these three are impaired in renal impairment there will be reduced glomerular filtration rate causing reduced renal clearance thereby increasing the plasma half life of the drug thereby causing toxicity of the drug next drug level monitoring in renal impairment measurement of plasma drug concentration is helpful in assessing a particular dosage regimen in renal insufficiency okay so every time we need to do the tdm we need to do the therapeutic drug monitoring we should check the plasma level of the drug and accordingly we should adjust the dosing of the drug in patients with renal impairment most important for drugs with narrow therapeutic range or effects that are difficult to measure okay so this therapeutic drug monitoring is particularly very much important for the drugs that are having a very narrow therapeutic range why therapeutic range means okay when uh, only a slight increase in or decrease in the dose may not produce side effects but a drug which is having a very narrow therapeutic range even a slight increase in the dose may lead to death of the patient so this therapeutic drug monitoring is very much important for the drugs which is having a very narrow therapeutic range in the patient suffering from renal impairment okay so this was all about our uh, topic of uh, th- uh, pharmacokinetic changes taking place in renal impairment i hope you people found this video helpful and thank you for watching